YouTube. This is part two of my Nintendo 3DS review, and uh, I'll be starting back from where I picked off, which was from the Nintendo 3DS Sound. Either way, like I was saying, the Nintendo 3DS Sound now offers you to play back files or store memory files in the MP3 format, so you don't have to worry about going into iTunes if that's what you use to convert it to AAC and then having two songs in your same library. It's a bit aggravating. Either way, it's quite nice, and you can also do the sound recordings, which you can also now finally save to an SD card and have lots more pages than just simply one. Though it's not nothing to brag about, seeing as it's just nothing more than screwing with your sound. And, well, the th photo editor has some sort of advantage or disadvantages, just depending on what you like. There's also the addition of the new Mii Maker, which is quite nice. It's similar to the Wii channel, to the Mii channel on the Wii. Um, it actually has slightly f few more features in it, even though it's a little bit different, and it's a little harder to get used to with the touchscreen format. There's also Street Pass Me Plaza, a few of AR games, which is really the big target for Nintendo 3DS. Another built-in game called Face Raiders, which allows you to move the 3DS system around, so that's a bit different from there. Your Activity Log, which is quite nice. Nintendo Download Play has been there for ever since the original DS is launched, though you can also use your DS and 3DS download titles. You can also play your older DS games and DSi games using the card, so it actually supports functionality. So now you can play your old DS library in case that's what you've upgraded from, so you don't have to worry about any of that. Go back to the home menu. And back to here, the system settings, this allows you to sit, tweak with your system in just a little bit or do whatever you wanted to with it, and so on. The Nintendo eShop is something new if you have an older version or of the software. This won't appear. You have to update your system when you first buy it so it doesn't come pre-installed and everything. But one thing that does come pre-installed is the internet browser at the top here, which is actually quite nice because the old DSIs and DSi Excels, you had to go into the DSi shop and download it Well, it was free. Either way, it's quite nice. You also can download a few applications like Nintendo Video, which allow you to watch 3D videos, which is quite nice. Netflix has been something that's added new. And I'm not going to lie, it's pretty nice, but at the same time, the quality on it, like using the top screen, is not overwhelming. And another thing, disclaimer, is it's not in 3D, even though Nintendo's own words saying there might be some sort of feature later on. And that does a little suck, but hey, it's Netflix. What are you going to do? This is another one called Swap Note, which basically allows you to send notes, but it's in the same way as PictoChat, which does not come included with the Nintendo 3DS system. So that's a bit of a bummer. In case you like to, you know, talk with people that are only five feet away on little strobing without looking at other people's faces and talking to them, this is perfect. But this one is a little bit different and not quite in real time like chat rooms. You can also download some of the older games that are remastered in 3D, like Xevious, which is one I've never heard of and even my parents have never heard of. Zelda Link Four Swords has been free available until February of 22nd or something like that. A few other games and videos I've downloaded. Other than that, it's pretty much the same as the DSi and everything else. And the first thing I want to start with is the cameras, which is nothing, again, to brag about. Basically, much like the DSi. The DSi's were a third 1.3 or 0.3 megapixels, which is utterly pathetic in modern terms and even in older terms when cameras were still coming around. And just to give you an example, this phone here I got off Straight Talk, I paid nothing for, has a 1.3 megapixel camera on the back of it. So this camera is more quality and I paid nothing for it by getting it refurbished, which I might do a review later on. So you can kind of see where this is all starting to add up. It's just not quite like what you would think. And um, it may not be what you want for you, I, I don't know. Anyway, the cameras aren't really like I said anything to brag about. They're really basically about the same resolution as the DSi. In fact, I would probably have to say they took a DSi camera and slapped it on there. Is basically my feeling. With the new update, can you also you can also record 3D videos, much in the same way, unlike the DSi, which you could not record 3D videos. So that is something new. You can also screw around with your photos, basically. Well, not by much. You can also download th 3D images off the internet, like this one I got from. I don't remember where. Either way, it's quite nice to do that. Either way, it's pretty nice. But the cameras aren't anything to brag about, and you won't be using them as professional photography instruments, unlike my iPod, which is what I use for my cameras. Either way, 
this is, uh, let's start with Nintendo 3DS sound. And if you'll notice that my 3DS has started to blink, which means its battery is about to die. So I have to recharge it in a second. While that loads, I will get that. Alright, I am back here. And this is um, the 3DS sound. If, uh, hold on, let me just get this for a second. This is my stupidity for not being ready, apparently. Either way, here we can see the um, Nintendo 3DS sound feature. It um, looks about the same as the Nintendo DSi sound, just a bit tweaked. So you're not going to be lost in it, but I mean, it will be a little bit different. Either way, it works basically the same way. Alright, now that I've got my system plugged in, we don't have to worry about that. Alright. You can also record edit sounds. You can also put SD files on the SD card, which it shows you a list here. I'm not going to go much into that, seeing as it's not all the highlight of our tour. Wait for that to close. The uh, Me Maker is something a little bit new on the 3DS, so um, we'll go ahead and get to that. As it starts up, you can have View Me characters or Create Me characters. We're going to view my Me characters. I have some me characters of myself, of my family members. So, another nice thing is you can also download, or more like wirelessly transfer me's from the Wii console. But you can't take Wii's me's on the 3DS and transfer them to the Wii console. So it's only one way. So unfortunately for that, you can also make QR codes which you can get off the internet to get more me's. So it's quite nice. The AR games I can't quite show you, but I might do a demo on those later. Um, are really nice, and I'll show you some later. Face Raiders is another interactive game, which I can't quite do right now. The activity log is pretty nice. It basically works like the Wii, just a bit tweaked. And everything else. The download play is quite nice if you want to play overly. And that's one thing I love about Nintendo versus Sony with their PSP, which you can't remotely play PSP to PSP. So, that's a bit of a downfall. System settings is not much to go into. The Nintendo eShop, which we'll go ahead and visit. The eShop finally released. Um, if you really like the DSi Shop, then there's something wrong with you. But either way, the eShop is just a little bit tweaked. It's a little bit different, quite a bit different actually, because it now se separates it into different categories. The eShop is a bit upgraded, so it loads much, much faster than its predecessor, and it runs a little a lot faster. And you can also watch videos off of it. This is one of the home screens, and again, it does come in 3D, which I can't show you that right now. Instead of, well, basically being like the Wii Shop channel, it's a basically really simple scrolling, so you really can't get lost in here. And then there's a search bar below, which also shows popular games and searches. You can also watch 3D videos on here, something called Nintendo Show 3D. It's nothing to brag about, but it's nice, quite nice. And the fact that it's in 3D really ups the scale for that. In terms of downloading games, it's quite nice, but it only includes some of the DSiWare games, and not all of them will be available in the eShop. But other than that, it's quite nice. Another application that some people would like to see is Netflix, so I will show you that, even though it might take a little time to load, because the internet connection, even though it's quite fast, does take a long time to load. Either way, Netflix is quite nice, and it works pretty simple. You know, you really can't get lost. It almost works the same way as the Wii when it comes up. And that's kind of the problem. It takes a long, long time. But that being said, comparing it to the others, um, another rumor is Hulu Plus will be available sometime for the 3DS, but we're waiting for that. So when that comes out, I'll do a little video on that. As you can see, it does take a long time, and even if you're at a small airport or something like that was usually pretty fast internet, it could be a long time. And watching it on here can also sometimes be interrupted by even the slightest change in the internet uh, connection speed. Right now, as you can see, it does take a, quite a bit of a long time to load. So in case you're, if you're in a rush, you can't really do this. There we go. Finally, it's loaded. I'll show you some of the videos, and I'll even show you some video quality playback in my next video, So, because I'm running out of time for this. Again, I'll see you in part 3 of my Nintendo 3DS review. And I'll see you then.